Hi, I'm Lasse Mäkelä. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Investor and I'm also a proud uh, father of a 10-year-old son and we also have two dogs at the home. I've been told that ever since I was two years old, um, my grandfather asked me what do I want to be as a big uh, when I grow up and I wanted to be a fighter pilot. <laughs> and, uh, and pretty much all my life I was targeting to become a fighter pilot. Um, and when I went to the army in Finland, um, but then they said in the tests quite fast they realized that well at least my, my eyes are not good enough and that I have classes nowadays as well. So, <laughs> so I think for me personally that, that was quite a, uh, that was an area when you sort of, you had, I didn't have plan B basically, I, I only had plan A. But then when you realize that hey actually you are not going to be a fighter pilot, then what, what is next? Well, where, where to go next? And for me, the issue was that you start studying. Studying is always good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and trying, uh, trying to study and see whether something is of interest to you. I started my studies in Paris uh, and I realized quite fast that finance is interesting. And for me, that was the area what I wanted to focus on. And that's very much the area where I, I still am, basically, in this, in this path. Where the investor idea came from was that we had this idea about one company uh, earlier, sort of wanted to give the possibility for the, for the community to become shareholders of that company. And actually it started from, from the fact that uh, one of my friend's uh, wife said that um, why, do you, why do you always go to a bar you, sh you should do something useful and <laughs> and then we decided that we start to develop uh, business ideas and then we still went to the bar anyway <laughs> but uh, that's very much where, where it started we started to develop the ideas when we started uh, with uh, with equity crowdfunding um, or digital fundraising there was a lot of negative sentiment about uh, two words because the some of the business angels maybe saw this as a competitor uh, for for themselves because they they had their own environment and th there's a new kid in the block and starting to bring new ideas and there's a competition and some of the business angels didn't like that at all and then uh, but then when time moved, moved on, people started to realize that, hey, this is actually a good idea. And those events where you feel, you see that, okay, business angels accept you and you, you are a, actually an a important partner. When you are disrupting something, uh, there's always rejections, but then you, once you push through, uh, you are in a good shape. Motivation of doing something good has become more and more important for me. Um, when we uh, sort of started Investor, when I was looking at the entrepreneurs, um, how uh, some of the entrepreneurs got really squeezed out by some of the investors. You, it's often when you try to get funding, it's very unbalanced situation where uh, entrepreneur often can be quite young and then the business angel or VC often it's very talented uh, sort of experienced negotiator so the balance is very difficult and I saw a lot of these situations where the the entrepreneurs got pretty much screwed <laughs> and of course I've also seen the situation the other way around where some of the entrepreneurs or companies then screw the investors uh, and that's not nice either so very important is that there is a fair balance. You know what you get when you come to the like investor area. So entrepreneurs, you know your what is the process, what's happening here, trying to be as realistic as possible for them. Investors, when you come here, you should know exactly what you are getting. Ris risks are high, but we tell it openly that I mean you may lose your money. 50% of your uh, investments may go bankrupt. Uh, maybe 20% you may be successful. And that's the, the information we are telling to the, to the investor side. But the key here is the fairness, so that you are fair on both sides and nobody gets screwed. So I think that's really the, the key issue here. And that's one of the reasons why investor exists. During the process where 
the company has not been doing as well as planned. And when the money is sort of like starting to run out, of course, the first thing you do is that you don't get salary <laughs> yourself. And you, you would like to still keep the, everybody's morale high and uh, up and sort of people sort of uh, motivated and excited. Whereas then on the other side, you see that, oh, <laughs> now we are in deep trouble. But you, you try to sort of balance there and you don't really have a person to talk about those maybe so much. Um, and in, in general, entrepreneurship is not, of course, for everybody. <laughs> and the, the feeling where when you are waking every night, uh, when you are sort of feeling that, I mean, uh, are we, are we going to survive, basically? You have this like a, uh, I don't know, a big stone on your heart and you sort of feeling a lot of pressure from many different angles and it affects your sleep and it affects your family life you don't your wife is not happy nobody's happy when you are sort of in this uh, sort of really sort of deep there <laughs> but I never really felt failure is so bad thing I, I'm, it's it, it's sort of it's it's a way of just going forward and that's you, you learn from those you have to be optimistic in order to go through that. Um, otherwise, you, you are gone, basically. You just have to push forward and try to find a way out uh, one way or the other. <laughs>